Bro, he got stabbed through the chest? Apple. Apple is. <laughs> Apple is fake as hell. Apple's an op. 28th floor, residential area. You have Masang and the Prince, right? They found out about him. His name is Cassano Beniamino. He's my only childhood friend and the devil's right arm. You all heard of, yeah. Then you're not the devil's right arm. No, Cassano and I were abandoned kids in the middle area because having babies without permission is prohibited in the middle area. Many kids are abandoned. Having babies in the middle area is prohibited the exception of certain families that have been given permission. That's insane to hear. What the hell? It's obvious how they'll turn out. They'll die or be sold. Cassano and I were lucky to be sold as material to the workshop. Material? So the workshop uses humans for materials? Yes. The workshop is not only just a place where items are made. That's what he did. What? No way. They'll do anything for their own experimentation. It's not a big deal for them to use abandoned kids as experiment. Um, materials even now a number of kids in the middle area are sacrificed as material for the workshop for one weapon to be completed and sold to us you can't imagine how many lives are sacrificed i was one of those lives and i was grown for a long time in an incubator so i could be used as a testing material i didn't know if i was dead or alive it was if, if i was dreaming the injections went on and on and i was just waiting for my life to end and one day the doors of the incubator opened the first thing i saw was him damn devil's right arm the researchers called me number 21 they called him number 99 found out later on that we were the only two who survived from the side effects of the injection the starting that day we learned how to talk we read and studied about the tower exercised battled and trained ourselves asano was smaller than me but he was always self-confident he helped me overcome my timidity he was like my older brother and she hides 21 to 99 have a seat. It's time to study. Miss Sophia. Oh, you look happy today, 99. Of course, I love your classes. Don't you agree, number 21? <laughs> yes. Sophie am I. Thank you, 21 and 99. She was the assistant researcher in charge of, the, of teaching us language. Unlike other researchers who treated us like pieces of foreign experiment, she treated us like humans. We laughed, talked, and had fun together. It was the most precious time we had at the workshop. Listen, 21 and 99, you're no longer 21 and 99. Your Cassano Beniamino and your Omar Beniamino. Now we will call each other by name and we're by ourselves. This is our top secret. Well, don't tell anyone else. You like your names? Cassano, Omar? I like them. The names never got boring, even though we repeated our names that whole night. I really like them. But she was our first love. Aw, oh, damn, man. That's sweet. Time passed, and by the time we were 12, we were sent elsewhere. Our bodies were wrapped up. From that secret lab, we were taken elsewhere and finally learned about the truth of the experiment we had been a part of for the past 12 years. Oh man, this is wild. What the fuck? The creature we found locked in a deep blue tank kept on changing and twisting its form as if it refused to have shaped. Nice to meet you, 2199. I'm a Dox, the manager of, the, of this workshop. I'm in charge of your experiment. Welcome. You're very lucky. Out of 900,099 kids? Man, that's a lot of kids, bro. That's almost 100,000 kids. We'll have the chance to be living ignition weapons. Living ignition weapons? Ignition weapons are weapons that bear a soul. They're weapons refined by Ushinsu bearing a soul. The ignition weapon is the strongest and most beautiful. But it still has limits since it's just a weapon. So we decided to use a, a human living body. Starting now, I'll split this devil into two and implant them in your bodies. Don't worry, your outstanding material that has passed all of our tests. Damn, that's fucked up, man. After the experiment is over and you open your eyes again, you'll be the first living ignitions, ignition weapons in the tower. It was horribly painful. It felt like all of my blood was flowing backwards, being filled up with something else. There was pain like my bones being, were being torn apart. I kept on fainting and waking up until I didn't have the strength to re reawaken anymore, so I passed out. After a few days when I woke up, half of my body wasn't mine anymore. That's f wild. Asano had the left and I had the right. The devil was split between us. We were, we were imbued with an unknown power and fury. It wasn't just our bodies that changed. Miss Sophia, who had visited us every day, didn't come to see us anymore. We never learned if she was sent somewhere else or she wasn't allowed to contact us. After she disappeared, Cassano and I couldn't really do of our body, our quickly changing bodies. There were many lonely and painful days. We just 
lived meaningless, meaningless lives. And after a long time had passed, one day I woke up from the cold. I had been strapped down and was being transported elsewhere. It was my first time seeing the roof and experiencing snow. And I thought, I didn't think about what would happen to, what happened to me next or where I would be sold. I marveled that there was a place in this world with such beauty. I wished to live longer. At that moment above the sea, I met the real owner of the tower. Whoa. And I passed out again. And when I woke up, I was in a, I was a regular in the tower. Then, as you know, I went up the tower and it wasn't very hard because of this power. Since then, people have called me the devil's right arm. But I felt guilty going up the tower with a power built on other sacrifices. So after I got to the 20th floor, I stopped. And one day, there was a rumor that the devil right arm was on the 20th floor. This is the most wicked backstory so far. <laughs> what the? Bro, he has... He basically has no obligation of his own life. No jurisdiction, man. He was just played with in mostly the entirety of his life. I wonder what was going on. So I searched and found the guy who had taken the test with the guy using that name. And he said with a smile, the guy called himself the devil's right arm. But he was actually using his left arm. Then... Was it Cassano? He had entered the tower too. I don't know what happened to him since or why he's acting the way he is. I need to see him again. Of course, man. That's your boy. He's outside. There goes Viole. Why did you call me, Mr. Horang? It's late. Let's get back. They want to scrap? What the hell? Now that things stand as they do, there is no more to hide. You might have picked up from my story that I've been following you to check up on the monster that I saw during the first battle with you to see if you were a living ignition weapon just like me. I didn't want to do this, but it's now time to leave, so I should make it clear. What the fuck? He ain't no living ignition. I mean, fuck, I'm, damn. He, in the sense, he kind of is, but he doesn't have any demon power or like anything crazy within him, you know? He's just been trained. Allow me to check what we've got inside. All right, next chapter. All right, Horang. All right, chapter episodes of 43 scrap take it out viola i need to know if you're an ignition weapon like me and if so how did it happen even if i have to fight against you i can't help you with this and i don't have a reason to fight against you if you don't show me then i'll make you do so Ooh, you see that you see that movement awaken it uh oh if you're an ignition weapon like me and if fug is related to that experiment oh there you go that makes sense now Ooh, i have the right to know the truth or those kids sacrificed during the experiment. I don't bl Yo, but he's... Viola's doing his... Damn. Tell me. But Doc said we was the first. I'd never heard of another ex survivor except us. So what's that thing you have? Did fuck have something to do with the experiment? Why do they make living ignition weapons? Answer me, Ju Viola Grace. Seven years ago, when I first joined Fug, a man said, I'll teach you how to become a god. Odd, you say. Yes, power to make all wishes come true, change the world, or throw that all aside and walk your own path. I can only give you the smallest part of it now, but this power will help you choose your destiny. Oh, he threw him in Shinsu water, I think, or just a body of water. Whoa, what the fuck? As soon as I laid eyes on that red light, I was struck with great pain and fainted. And when I woke up, I felt it inside of me. Oh, he does have a... Wait, what? He has a living initial weapon in it? I asked about it later, but they wouldn't answer me. All I know is that Fug secretly hid it on the floor of the test and made a huge tank to take care of it. And the water inside of it is very special. It makes the Xinghua that goes inside it huge and enlarges one's power to control Sinsu, for example. Abnormal things happen in there. What's this power? When I heard your story, I felt that our situations were eerily similar. They are. They really are. But this is all I know. I don't know how to wake this up. Whether this is related to the experiment or not. Sorry, Mr. Horang. I didn't want this power, this destiny. This destiny is not what I wanted, just like you. For real, they're forced to do these things. What I really wanted was already there. A squad, a family, a group. Sorry, I already knew the truth. Even if you had something to do with that experiment, you're not the type of person who would sacrifice others for power. Nah, he's not. I just wanted to make sure before I left. Now it's okay. The whole rank. Forget about what happened to the Viola. I don't care anymore about whenever you're related to the experiment or not. You and I are both victims. I hope you can be happy and find out, find what's precious to you, Viola. Tell my words to our teammates. Harang, are you really leaving like this? I got the location. I can go by myself. I won't be able to return if I make it there. I don't want to get you in trouble because of my past. It's dangerous. That picture might be a trap. That's another reason I'm not taking you. You're my family. Teammates that I met since entering the tower weren't much different from the research at the workshop. They needed my power. They always thought I was a monster and stayed away from me. But you were different. 
Whenever I saw you guys in the morning, I felt like I did when I saw my first snow. I felt I would have to leave one day, but I made excuses to delay my departure. Damn, he's really leaving, but winter is over now. Goodbye, Viole. Damn, bro. He don't gotta leave, bro. Wait for me, Cassano. Damn, bro. Novik. Oh, they landed? Oh, shit. They landed. Oh, man. Is this where he's hiding? The devil's right arm is mine. Don't touch him, Ron. Shut up. Just suit your spear, you spear bearer. Then let's see who catches him first and see who's really number one. Stop bothering me. Get away. It's time to hunt the devil. Bro. Oh, shit. It is Cassano. Oh, man. But it looks like... Damn. All right. Okay. Next chapter. Episode 44. Oh, you're back, Viole. Why are you alone? Didn't you go out with Paul Rang? He said he was going to be late. Did he? That's odd. He doesn't usually go out. Oh, Viola, you're back. Where's the teddy bear? I don't know. He said he'd come back later. He must be excited to meet his old friend. What should I wear tomorrow? Why do you care about that? He's not your friend. Teddy bear's friend is my friend too, isn't he? Shut up. Just go to bed. Uh, go to bed now. We have to wake up early tomorrow. All right. 28th floor residential area, tent village. Well, he's already there. Sun, lighthouse. A late night guest. That's odd. Light bear and information seller. E rank regular. Shy, shy. What brought you to this tent village? I'm here to find the man. Have you seen him? This guy, do you know him? Of course. He showed up early. He showed up around here recently to get some food. The people living out here are sent here due to various issues. So they are very sensitive to newcomers. You happen to know where this guy is at the moment? Yeah, I do. But before that, before that, hey, payment is complete. Outsiders are always rich. I'll use his money for something good. Now tell me where he is. You see the big hand behind the village? That big hand? People say it was a part of the huge statue that broke, leaving only the hand intact. People call that the hand of Arlen. Before it was used as a hideout for fugitives, but they were all kicked out and now it's it's empty now. That guy staying there at the moment. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, someone told me they saw him around the hand of Arlen a few days ago and he's not staying in any of the tents there. So that's the only logical place he'd be at. Cassano. Thanks, I'll get going, but be careful. After the 10 great families kick people out, they left many traps and monsters around and inside the hand of Arlen so that no one could get close. If you do want to get in, it'll be better to go as a team. Thank you for your information. It's huge. It's huge up close. Cassano, why? Did you call me here? Oh no. Traps. She wasn't lying. Stone dolls. Darn it. You're not letting me in easily. Hey, the hand of Arlen. I don't know how it might have looked before, but it looks grotesque like that. It'll be better if I destroy it. A coon. You think he's there? Maybe. He's completely hidden himself from others for the last few years. I don't think it was a mistake for him to show up in that picture. I don't think it's a coincidence he left the perfect clue like this. He's showing his location clearly if you just take a closer look. And a boring picture like this spreading so quickly. And the box is also a bit suspicious. I think this is to invite someone here. To the hand of Arlen. Of course he didn't mean to invite us. He's talking about Harang. Which means people other than us might come here as well. Ran, Novik. There are traps around. Eliminate them. I'll support you. Okay, let's go, Ron. Yo, Ron, dip. Ron, don't do it yourself. It's better to be alone. What? Stop there, Ron. This doesn't feel right. Two meters ahead. Ron, don't go alone. A trap in the front column. Be prepared just in case. Right, one more. We don't have a scout. Remember that you, the fisherman, should take the roll. Shut up, I can't hear them. Five meters ahead. Ron is very... He's stubborn. He's stubborn right now. That's what it is. Whatever. Ron. Oh, damn it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, then you have Horang doing his thing. Oh, Lord. Uh-huh. It's hard without a light bearer. Boom. What the fuck? It was a, it was a rock. Who's there? Ron? Oh, goodness. Oh, um, who are you? Are you the devil's right arm? Next chapter. So 45. How about this? We're all dressed like Hallrang. This friend will meet eight Hallrangs. Oh, that's good. But no thanks. Then I, want, I, then I want to wear pink. Sorry, we should all wear the same color. Who says? I should find something for Masang to do. Okay, I'm the devil prince. The only thing I'll wear is pink. You guys, it's time to sleep. Stop staying up. Yeah, and then you have you have Viole just contemplating about the decision. Oh man, are you the devil's right arm? What? A wing, black bandage. You gain weight. That's not him though. Oh, he blocked it. Who are you? Why are you looking for the devil's right arm? To fight. You need more of an explanation? Of course. I think you might have mistaken me for someone else. I'm not the devil's right arm that you're looking for. Oh man. Boom. Darn it. I've got no choice. Wing transformation. Who the hell is? It? Oh, he teleported. Block my way. I'll crush you. Interesting, it's red now. Earlier it was blue. I don't know why you're looking for him, but I got no time to play with you. There's no time, I'll be quick. Damn it, bro, he, he's wasting time. Damn, Ron is moving fast though, hold on. Macheny style lightning spear. Electrica Perla? Electrica Perla? These attack name sounds really cool, I'm not gonna lie, he blocked it. 
the shield how do you survive that does your defense incre increase as your wing changes form interesting that's a scythe holy crap yo no that's the no that's the spear spinning oh shit wait who are you novik grand i'm here to catch you the devil's right arm Hassano's not gonna jump in and then you have gosang just sitting there viole is mr teddy bear back yet no not yet i see gosang has been waiting for him you think Bad people took him. What if he gets experimented on again? Don't worry, it's not like that. Really? Yeah. Horang will be back safe. So don't get worried and get to bed. I like Viole consoling his group, you know. They need that. I learned what true loneliness was the first time I met her. I'm sorry, Mr. Horang. I need to bring you back. Bro, he's gonna run into Coon, brother. Oh, we are about to go crazy. Next chapter. Chapter 46. Where are you going, Viole? Mr. Raptor. I was out here thinking about how weird it is that he hasn't returned yet. Did he run away secretly? Yes, Mr. Harang. Left by himself. Damn, I knew it. That bastard. This is how he deals with things? If you're going after him, don't. It's too bad, but he made his choice. We can't stop him. Forget about him. I won't. What? Mr. Harang said that we're like his family. He understands. He under I understand how he feels because I also have been alone since my birth. If I were him, I wouldn't want to leave. He didn't have a choice. He left for us. Maybe he's waiting for someone to bring him back as I had before. Spitting. I don't want to leave Mr. Horang by him alone. I'll go and bring him Mr. Horang back. Wait, Viole, wait. Viole, darn. How could he just go by himself? What should I do? Chase him, of course. Wang Nan, why are you awake? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? How can I sleep when a teammate hasn't returned home? I was waiting to surprise Horang when he got back. That's not necessary. Anyway, let's follow Viole and go see Horang. If he really wants to leave, we'll let him go. As Viole said, that might not be true. The colors look good, though. I'm not gonna lie, the colors look nice. Ah, uh, don't you get it? Follow, we have to follow him. Prince, since when have you? I was waiting here to surprise Lord Devil, but what the heck is going on? I can't let him go like this. Let's go and bring him back. When did you get here? But do you have a floating ship to take? The one Viola took was the last one. Of course not. I knew it, idiots. Even if we want to follow after them, we can't go out a ship. I'll take care of that. Oh, he was, Yeon. Were you awake too? Of course, I never fall asleep before Viola does. I need to keep an eye on him. No, not really. Anyway. If you're going to chase after him, I can rent a floating ship for us. I'll be able to go. I'll be able to get one for my family. Really? Is that possible? Did you forget that I'm an heir to, of one of the 10 great families? Oh, right. What do you mean, right? Let's go bring Mr. Harang back. Okay, let's go. Let's... Ugh. He gets stuck in the... <laughs> he was. He got stuck in the box, whatever they were hiding at. I didn't feel right from the start. I can't believe he already broke the lighthouse. What the heck are they up to? That's why I wanted to bring the others too. How could they all be busy at the same time? Darn, I got no choice. I caught the bird flu. I have to take care of Gaetan. Flu is dangerous. Me? I want to go, but I'm in charge of Rachel that day. I guess I have to send the remaining lighthouses that way. Somebody's... Whoa, what the hell is that over there? I hope they're not fighting the wrong person. <laughs> they are. Funny enough. Why are you interfering? I can't let you have fun all by yourself. My, nice to meet you, the devil's right arm. You've gained weight. You look slim in the photo. I heard that you beat Hots and have extraordinary power. I really wanted to fight you, the devil's right arm. They're mistaken but won't listen what should i do two of them and both have great powers i'm using it twice today will i be able to withstand it oh he can only use the the right arm for a while omar Cassano? Cassano, where are you, Cassano? Look behind you, this way. Follow the observer. Are you running away? He's fast. He's troublesome. Stay there. Oh, man. Oh, God, dude. This is uh, this is something. Don't follow him too far, Ron. It might be a trap. Ron? Ron? <laughs> this dude, he don't give a fuck, man. Oh, what the hell is that? A dead end? Cassano, where are you, Cassano? Dodge your head. Darn it. He jumped right out the way that fast. You're getting annoying. Yo, Ron is so small. <laughs> Stop running and fight, Devil's Right Arm. Wait, it's not him. We came out. Devil's Right Arm that you're looking for is here. Huh? What's wrong? Caught in a trap. Oh, man. You're done. Ugh. You're done. Okay. Chapter episode 47. He realized that they're in a trap. Ooh. Oh! Huh? Bro, he got stabbed through the chest? Oh, shit. Last second, man. I had so many guests today. It's good that I'm open up until late. What are you looking for, annoyingly long-haired man? Mr. Harang stopped by too? Yes. Which guy with black hair came and asked about the same guy? You know where he went? The Hand of Arlen. It's the name of the huge hand-shaped statue behind this tent village. The man you're looking for went up that way. Thank you, then. Wait, are you planning to go by all by yourself? There are many traps around, so it's dangerous. And the place is bigger than you think. It won't be easy to find that guy. If you need a beautiful light bearer, I can help you if you pay me. He's probably like a... Yo, she look mad. I don't know what it is. People that wear masks, women that wear masks. I don't know what it is. It's the, I think that the, the act of mystery makes them look attractive. I don't know why. What do you think? 
Maybe he'll take his uh, offer for it. Asano, who's that? Jumps off. Uh oh, yeah, man. Yeah, doing too much. You jerk. He flew. Asano, who are you? Asano Beniamino, devil's right arm. Who the hell is this guy? He's like, I thought he would be stronger than that. That was too easy. She's paying me a lot of money for someone so weak. She got plenty of money, I guess. Good for me. I, with that money, I can get out of this place. All thanks to you, pretty boy. I don't think he's dead. Ain't no way. You won't need these earrings anymore. So all. Who are you? Who paid you to kill me? Whoa, you. How can you be alive? Poison went right through your heart. How? I didn't. Armor inventory. I bought this just in case and it was quite helpful e rank regular how could you have something so expensive my dad gave it to me well at least i believe so so who paid you to do this do you think i'll answer you i don't think you'll understand your situation i'm not so weakling who got lost a light bear in a one-on-one -on -one fight i th think you got it wrong Ooh, i'm not a light bear because i'm bad at fighting <laughs> i'm a light bear because i like giving orders stay still if you want to keep on breathing so told you to do this the rabbit ears a girl with rabbit ears i didn't see her clearly because it was too dark but i'm sure she said she'll pay me if i kill the person sneaking around the statue what else that's all i know it was the first time i ever spoke to her please let me go now i told you everything you did you should die now because you're useless boom yeah he stabbed him all the way through stupid anyway a light bearer who can hack like this and a hired killer or are they trying to catch using the devil's right arm as bait mm. he's asking the right question Questions. It's very suspicious. Cassano, why did you call me here? And who's and what's with those guys? Cassano, say something. You'll know soon enough, Elmar. What? Cassano? Are there two devil's right arms? Novik, let's change positions. I'll throw the spear. Why? Have you finally decided to take things seriously? I want to end this as quick as possible because he knows it's about to be trouble. He, Ron knows we are in some shit. Let me finish this ASAP. All right. Hail style, print some soul fist. Whoa, blockade. Uh-oh, last one. Slim Devil's right arm. Lightning spear. Lethal move. You look so sick. Well, Espada de la Luz, sort of. Nah, that's high bink. Sword of light. That's on a wrong car. Espada bleach move, bro. <laughs> he caught him good, though. The sound seems to be coming from the statue. Wait, let's go together. She has a rabbit ear. She's a traitor, bro. She's going to play him. All right, next chapter. Hey, slow down a bit. I told you it's dangerous out there. That might be a trap. Drats, there's no choice. She set the trap to... Yo, there's a trap. Are you okay? Oh my, thank you. You can slow down now. Let's hurry. Why are you in such a hurry to find that man? I guess he's a close friend. He's just someone I know. Oh, he would be sad to hear that. No, no, not this way. To the right. Oh, she's toying, bro. She's playing, man. It's getting noisy over there. I guess my teammates have already been trapped. We're already prepared for that. And in any case, I wanted to check results of their training. Devil's right arm was a was suitable challenge for that. If we beat the man who beat Hots, I'll know that my efforts to make my team stronger have been in vain. And myself included. <laughs> After meeting that blue weirdo on the test floor, I study law too. He's talking about Ron. <clears throat> So that I never experience that humiliation again. I study how to trace the hacking. I'll get you using the trap you used on us. Wait, after meeting the blue weirdo, the blue weirdo. Who's he talking? He's not talking about Ron, right? Cassano. Hey, Cassano. Cassano. Darn it. It's no use. He can't be alive after taking the sword of light through the chest. Bastard, I'll kill you. Turn up time. Oh, that's the devil living in your right arm. What? So he is the right arm. Nah, they split, brother. You don't know yet. It's no use to just rush in. Uh-oh, he's gonna break through it? Oh, shit, he did. Uh-oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, shit. You're annoying. Okay, he's hacking through something. Blocks the, the roundhouse kick. Oh, he's gonna power drive and shit? He threw him. He said, yo, what a dick. <laughs> Kuhn doing his work. This is the end. Fat doubles right arm. Ooh, he dodged it last second. Nice, gotcha. Whew. You're a tough one. Who's gonna hit first? What is this? APD? Wait, app? Whoa! Huh? Who got hit? Oh no. Wait, why? Why did he attack through him? Cassano. Why? Damn, he betrayed him? What the? Apple underscore 0116 at E rank regular. Apple? Who's Apple? I know there's Blueberry, but just Hat Sling. But who's Apple? Mr. Harang. Uh oh. Uh oh, shit, Mr. Harang. Damn, teddy bear, man. You, what have you done to Mr. Harang? Ooh, darn. Apple, why would she? Why did she do this? For what purpose? What is happening in there? It, wait, Apple's on his team? I'm confused. Hold on. Wait, wait. Apple. 
Wait, Apple's the girl that that's on his team. Apple's the girl that's the with the with the orange hair that that's, that was hacking into stuff and found out about Cassano in the beginning, right? Before the yeah, she's on Kuhn's team. All right, chapter forty nine. Mister Hall. Yeah, he turns up on him now. Who the heck is she? Who the heck is he? He's not breathing. He's dead. He's dead. Is it you who did this? That's yes. That's the one who attacked and killed that man. I saw it with my lighthouse. It's true that we attacked him, but he was already killed by darn. It's getting complicated. Yes, we killed him. So what? Uh Oh, Viole by himself. Shinsu. Damn. Okay. Ron about Ron with the assist. Whoa. Okay. No way. Damn it, a wave controller, a light bear, and a wave controller. Great team combination. There are very few E rank regulars who can use three bangs at once. Wave controller and light bear is the strongest combination possible for a two person team. Ha! Ah, it's Viole. It's Viole. He, he, he's the man, bro. He might be as strong as Quattro. If he's as strong as that crazy guy, he might be in for some trouble. Quattro is the guy that they fought in the in one of the earlier tests, right? They told they they they, they lost to to Viola and Wangnong, but they ran away. I remember not that they ran away, but they lost and they walked away. But they provoked Wangnong, and then Ak Raptor was like was like, nah, don't even. They're playing with you, bro. They're trying to get into your head, man. Let's break the lighthouse first. Okay, you know, they just dodge and they're trying to. Well, they're trying to do their best to. Do Whoa, they threw the. Damn, Ron, time to lose the annoying boxes. Ooh, you see this? Five bangs? Yeah, you're done. Look at this. Yo, Viole is cooking. Five bangs at once. Was there a guy that's strong amongst the E rank regulars? I don't know. There are fewer than 10 wave controllers who could control more than three bangs. Where did this guy come from? Ron, are you okay? Still fine. You already used the sort of light. You must be tired. I know you're strong, but using so much energy tires you out quickly. Otherwise, you would have finished him off yourself, right? I can't use a sort of light, but I can do something similar. You're only quick-witted in situations like this. One direct shot will be enough. Then I'll block his movements then. You throw the spears. You're getting excited. Look at oh my god, dude. This is this is serious. Whoa. Hey, yo style crimson soul fist. Crimson bell shock seal. Yo, these attack names are sick. Now, Ron, kill him. Shut up. Macheni style lightning spear. Lanza de lamp. Yo, Lanza de Lampago. Bro. Spear of light. This the, the Spanish names is making this man mad hype. This is making it sick. Oh, he's gonna dodge it last second. Whoa, what the fuck? What is this? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Stop. Stop. Damn it. Whatever. It's, it's been a tough day. Why'd you kill him? Orang had a place to return to. He, he had people waiting and now he can't meet them again because of the, because of you two. Why did you kill him? Why? I'm sorry to say this now. Well, even if, even though we did fight him, we didn't kill him. It wasn't us. It was him. Devil's right arm. He's behind that fallen wall. He killed that guy. You'll see if, if you can get under the rubble. He's lying. I saw it. Those two killed that man. He's lying to buy more time for them to recover. Don't trust him. So before they attack, you should kill them. Novik, round. <sighs> the faithful reunion, bro. The faithful reunion. Bam and Coon. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man, to be continued. All right, episode 50. Uh oh. Coon? Rabbit ears. What is Mr. Coon doing here? Novik, Ron. Hey, wake up, Ron. Da oh, damn, I was relaxing. Wait, don't take another step or everyone here dies. I saw the bomb inside the hand of Arlen. If I press the button, the hand will be blown up and will die. So don't move unless you want to die. Wait, what are you? You don't stay still. Everyone here will die. Slayer no nominee, Juviole Grace. Bug. Bro, she's a fug member? Hassan will come out, so he was alive. If you follow us, I'll let that man live. If you don't, you lose two of your precious friends. What will you do? Was it a setup from the beginning? Darn, who are you guys? Why are you doing this? Who's your target? We're just ordinary regulars who live in this tent village. Not this man. What? His name is Jovial Grace. He's going to be the newest fug slayer in the near future. He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, excuse me? <clears throat> so he wasn't an ordinary regular. He's Fug's new Slayer nominee. A while ago, an anonymous man came to me and said that a man who will become our god will visit this place soon. And if I helped him, uh, I'd receive wealth and honor. So I asked, what should I do? And he said that the god wanted to eliminate the regulars who could be his enemies in the future. He said that the god wanted to kill the most outstanding E-rank regulars. So, so the god has come here to kill you himself. Kuhn, 
Aregro Agnes. That's why we sent a spy to your team and how we succeeded in bringing you here. Apple's a fake one. Apple, Apple is, <laughs> Apple is fake as hell. Apple's an op. Everyone was planned to make you come here, Coon. What? Everything was a setup from the start? The reason Apple came into our team, the reason she gave me the information about the devil's right arm, the assassin hiding in the sand, was it all just to catch me or him to kill me? Oh no. Yes, what she said is true, son of Coon. I tried to kill you. That's why I laid this trap and waited for you. Voice change. He had to change his voice for sure. I changed my mind after seeing you. I seek to be the embodiment, the embodiment of your greatest fear. I would enjoy seeing you run away and fear more. I will be merciful this time and let you go for my amusement. He's letting him go because he doesn't want him to die. That's why. He wants to protect him because he knows that's cool. That's his boy, but he can't tell him that. So he's trying to just tell him to get away. I say, I'm just letting you rock. Ooh, the writing, the writing. Oh my goodness. Run away, Coon. We won't be able to go back and wish that we'll never cross paths again. It's how things used to be. Hey, Slayer nominee. I don't know where you're from, but you should practice more to seem like an evil king. Your evil act is right out of a lame novel. It's too obvious that you're acting. People are born evil, not made evil. What was that? Acting made me cringe. You're trying to let me go on purpose, aren't you? Why? Tell me honestly. Don't beat around the bush. I can't trick you, Mr. Coon, but I meant what I said. I can't tell you the truth. Ah! They both looking at each other. They're about to do some stupid shit. They about to take him out. Yeah. Uh-huh. You should have been more careful. Navik. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, damn. That skill. Let's go. I'll go with you. Tap. But if you play around with my friend's life again like this, I'll kill all of you. <laughs> she turned up quick. My lord, Juvial Grace said that he'll, he wanted to be nice and let you go, but you're ruining with, with your own hands. I'm furious now, and I'll so give you death. Apologize with your death, fools. I could feel it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why? Now let's begin. That crazy girl doing. A new slayer has been born. Rejoice. It has begun. No, Mr. Co oh my god. Bam. He realized last second. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Tower, I'm getting chills. Oh, I'm getting chills. I can't see it, obviously, but my hair is standing. Yeah, yo, brother. Brother. Next chapter, chapter 51. Darn it, what's, with that, what's that crazy girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run away, Mr. Kuhn. It's a trap. Run away now. What? What's all this? Why is he? No. Oh, what the fuck? He's alive. Yeah, now he's remember. He's actually alive. Is he? Oh, my. What the fuck? All right, man. Oh, apples eating an apple. Funny enough. Then you have this bird drinking. Swallow the medicine, Gaetan. That's why you're not getting any bigger. Stop it, crazy bastard. What? Oh, shit. Eden. You killed him. What are you doing? You traitors. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. I didn't kill him, Mr. Don. I was trying to cure him. Don't lie, Psycho. You poisoned him and made him ill. Gaetan didn't catch the flu. How could you do this when Kuhn is away? Who are you, really? Well, I would say we're the regulars who received orders from Fug to sneak into Kuhn's team and kill him. Fug? Why would Fug kill Kuhn? Well, we just follow orders. I don't know. Our job was to get into the team and then send Kuhn to a trap when the time was right. So I approached Kuhn on purpose, knowing he was looking for teammates. I was exactly who, we, who he was looking for since I'm a scout capable of using lighthouses. It was easy for me to join. I was recommended and I recommend that Michael had received the same command and then the order came from Fug. I used the devil's right arm as bait to make Kuhn leave and to right into Fug's trap. I hacked Kuhn's lighthouses so he probably won't survive. So even the mighty Kuhn can be stabbed in the back. He trusted for years that you were his teammates. That's why I told him I didn't want to go up to tower. Da darn it. So, what are you going to do? Kill me? What should I do? I think I should kill you. Now that you know all of our secrets. Please don't. Huh? Rachel. What is she going to even do at this point? And then, look, she's not even sitting down. She can walk now. Mr. Don didn't do anything. He, he was just brought in by Mr. Kuhn and did things that he didn't want to do. He did nothing wrong. Mr. Don, let's go up the to tower together. Please be my legs from now on. But you... Yo. You can't trust the fuck members. And you also can't trust fucking rachel this is terrible this is terrible yeah i forgot about you darn it how did it 
not cross my mind the real traitor was right here so it was you who asked fuck to kill coon wasn't it oof get lost <laughs> nah bro if you want to walk wanna walk on your own two legs you kicked two of your friends to the curb with those unscathed legs of yours isn't that right damn bruh they killed them too man damn son you don't know anything i didn't do anything wrong no no why i did what did i did to you no 28th floor the devil's right arm the end oh they finally made it wait wait what happened in there damn they came too late bro i mean what were they gonna do man what were they gonna do son yo what an ending man Matt brother yo and this is gonna be animated this is gonna be animated <laughs> yo this is gonna be hype Nah, I'm gonna have to end it here, bro. That's it. Damn, we already an hour in. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please remember to leave a like, comment, sub up to the channel. Gladly appreciate it. Oh my god. Have yourselves a goddamn good one. Peace.